Well here runs the Euro Bandit here once again. It's been snowing a bit outside, it's all nice, it looks great. The weather is mild as it usually is in South Central Sweden. Sunday last week I won an auction with 29 cassette decks. Yes, you heard it right, 29 cassette decks. The guy took like three clear pictures and he listed all the model names and everything, so... There's some great cassette decks, mostly from the 70s, and I won that auction for only 1000 Swedish crowns, and that's about 100 euros or 99 euros, something like that, I'm not really sure. But those cassettes are in Hiltibori, which is about more than 400 kilometers from Stockholm, and uh, now it's almost 11 o'clock in the morning and right now I'm basically gonna pick them up this is the best score of my entire life so far I'm gonna be back home by midnight because it all takes time obviously and you've guessed it, I drive the 2004 Renault traffic van but I did check the fluids, the oil and all that and now I'm gonna go to the gas station and check the tire pressure make sure it's all nice and fine because you know if you're gonna drive a long distance you wanna make sure that everything's alright so I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna fill it up. Got the GPS set up. I did update it yesterday. The last time I've updated this thing was about three years ago, believe it or not. <laughs> so it was really time to update it. Got the space all nice and ready, as you can see. Got a carpet on the floor and some bubble wrap. I'm sure it's gonna come in hand and it's gonna be needed because I wanna take care of the cassette decks and make sure I transport them all nice and safely and you pretty much guessed it there's gonna be quite a bit of content especially this winter and the early spring I'm gonna pretty much start having fun with them of course I'll keep some of them I'll obviously sell most of them now I'm not sure about the condition the last owner didn't try them out I know that one of them isn't working but doesn't really matter if only a few of them work I can sell them and make quite a bit of profit either way so it's all great all right so the fuel gauge is on the maximum don't get to see that very often and the tires are all good 64.08 liters and uh, it costs 11.73 crowns per liter and that in total is 751.66 crowns now you can convert that to your currency and if you're from the states you can pretty much convert the liters to gallons and then the Swedish crowns to American dollars and you'll have a heart attack I'm telling you and here I am cruising on the highway as you can see it starts snowing it's all nice so far I'm only down 35 kilometers and there's 437 kilometers left as you can see almost 200 kilometers later I'm getting closer and closer to southern Sweden take a look at the roads it's so nice and dry right now and it's almost like it's freaking spring down here see there's only like 200 kilometers difference and the climate is extremely different now that's for sure well it's getting dark but here they all are as you can clearly see so now be careful and hope they'll make it home just the way they are right now three in the cabin and yeah they're all dirty so therefore I placed them on the floor in the cabin so had no choice now it's time for another five to six hours drive and we're cruising down the road as you can see you might think it's night it gets dark pretty fast in Sweden depending if you're in the south or in the north obviously during winter it's about 5 and 30 p.m. and I'll be home about 9 I thought I'll be home by midnight but seems like I'll be home earlier this time and here they are all piled up as you can clearly see here we are two days later but you know I took them and cleaned them all just a quick clean but it was totally worth it because they're a lot cleaner now certainly not as clean as they should normally be basically the guy I bought all these cassette decks from bought them 
over the years and all that and of course he had a lot of projects he's still doing a lot of things he's making speaker cabinets for himself and you know he's still repairing some things but he said that he basically doesn't have time he's so busy with his company which is understandable because I know how it is when you don't have time basically most of them need at least a small maintenance some of them don't work properly there are some very rare models over here that even many collectors would love to buy such as this Blaupunt for example or this Hitachi they are very rare now I didn't try each of them but I did try a few of them and some of them are working perfectly others aren't really see I got a JVC KD35 and another KD35 over here so here's an Akai CS707D doesn't seem to work and there's a GXC 73D exactly as this one that I bought like I don't know two three years ago this one looks fine I'm not sure about this one basically the guy's basement was a shop and he was doing a lot of woodwork they were all full of sawdust and even the inside of them was full of sawdust and you know some parts are inside other parts are missing some of the cassette decks are incomplete such as this Sony see no knobs nothing this thing has no tray but this Sony right here is the most incomplete one especially on the inside and I'm not gonna mess with it I'm gonna keep it for parts starting from this cassette deck to that one these are the cheap ones you know the cheap and basic ones that you know no true enthusiasts would like to have so I'm gonna start off by selling the cheapest ones I like the look of this Senkyo cassette deck it's really nice it's black with brown texting it really looks nice and my pile of Akai's see one Akai two three these things are the same models this is another model and basically this one as well so I got a lot of Akai's which is very good because I like Akai this t is ultra rare and very nice high end now these controls are very unusual for a normal cassette tape you usually find them on reel to reels as you can see play stop and all that they're knobs I kind of like the way this thing looks like so in total there's 39 cassettes and I said I'm gonna start off with the cheap ones and this Philips isn't working but it's very nice not unusual this Technics has seen better days it might work I don't know but it's full of scratches and all that so now I was about to keep some of them but I'm still not sure which of them I'm gonna keep I have no freaking clue I was thinking one of these Akai's because these things are great I just tried one of them and seems to work see this one has a crack in the view meter you can already imagine by now that these cassette decks will bring quite a bit of content to my channel yes indeed I'm gonna make quite a few videos with these things not every single one of them will be on video but most of them will be on video anyway now I'm gonna end this video hope you liked it if you did why not thumbs up Check out my other videos and why not subscribe if you like what I'm doing and I'll see you next time. Cheers!